Changes on the way for some DeKalb County schools when it comes to using your cell phone during school hours. The district giving the green light to a new pilot program designed to limit students access to their phones while in the classroom. Liza Lucas is at the DeKalb County Board of Education this morning. Liza, I don't remember a report card where I didn't get a marking that said talks too much in class. So imagine if a phone was there that has to be so frustrating for educators. That's right. And you know, this pilot program, it was just approved on Monday and we're told it's about finding the balance, striking the balance here. Dr. Devon Horton, superintendent of DeKalb County Schools, also telling 11 Alive that other districts have seen success with similar programs. It's a pouch that DeKalb County Schools hope will hold a big payoff. We're really trying to find a way to bring back the interest of school and engagement with our students. District Superintendent Dr. Devon Horton pointing to the challenges teachers face. A recent data sample from nine DeKalb County schools shows some classrooms average more than 200 cell phone notifications every 30 minutes. We realize uh, as a school system that we have to be proactive and find ways that's going to help our students to be focused help our teachers to continue to deliver high quality lessons while also still honoring and respecting parents uh, and students wanting to have access to their phones in some way. The district will now pilot a program this fall. Five middle schools and five high schools will require students to lock up their phones in yonder pouches during the school day. Students will power down their phone, enter it into the pouch, and then they will actually walk around with it for the full day. Um, the, the research is showing as long as they have access and they're not fully detached from it, that they still are able to balance that a little bit. Three separate schools will try lockers. The district will then evaluate both plans. When you roll out such major initiatives like that, uh, we want to be able to get the kinks out. And so there is an opportunity for us to really get feedback from families, from students, and from our teachers to see, like, what can we do better? So we'll continue to follow this as well, especially as school gets underway. And we are told that parents can reach out to their child's front office at the school for any type of emergency situation. Um, in the meantime, DeKalb Pilot is part of a growing list of schools that are using the Yonder pouches. You may remember just last month we told you about Marietta City Schools. They'll also be requiring students to use these pouches. Live in DeKalb, I'm Liza Lucas, 11 Alive News. Liza, thank you. School starting in less than a month, so if you want to read more about the new policy, check out this story now on 11alive.com.